Hey guys, in this video I'm going to teach you how you can create a pricing table, responsive pricing table using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So here is a demo of this one project when you hover the mouse, it's very simple, short and basic way to create a this one pricing table. This is a very simple table and it's fully responsive. So I'm going to show you as you can see. So I'm going to teach you how you can create this one type of pricing table. So I'm going to close that. I open my code editor. Inside my code editor, I have a CSS file, basic structure of HTML. Inside the style sheet, I have a Google font. So we will use that with the name of Poppins. So let's get start to work on that. Write the dev, assign the class container. Inside the container, I'm going to create again dev, right class, table, row. Inside the table row, I'm going to create again dev, assign the class, tbl, call. Then I'm going to select the, write the paragraph, write the package name basic, h3, and assign the price $2.95 per month. Then I'm going to use ul li inside the li. I'm going to use some text. This will be top future one website 10 GB SSD storage and then custom themes 24 of 7 customer support. Mm -hmm. Three domain one year so this is our basic structure of HTML right so let's get start to work on the CSS so I use this way you will understand better then so the first thing I'm going to use is static box sizing will be border box margin will be zero padding will be zero Font size, I'm going to use font size, I mean font family will be Poppins and sans serif. Then I'm going to select the container. Assign the width will be 100% and I'm going to use background will be dark gray, right? And also I'm going to use main height will be 100 VH to control the whole page. Then I'm going to select the table row class. In the table row class, I'm going to use max width will be 1200 pixel. Main height, I'll leave the main height and I'm going to use flex. Display flex. Justify content will be center. Align item will be center. I want to display this one in the center, but we need to use the main height also on there because I will display this one in the center. So I, I leave this one on there. So I think everything is perfect, right? I want to display this one in the center. So you can use the margin auto. To display everything in the center when you will add the another content then it will move automatically in the left side right so I'm gonna show you step by step then I'm gonna select the TBL call and I'm gonna divide the flex boxes in three ways i mean i want to display three boxes so i use flex one on each box then i'm going to use background background will be white you will understand everything margin top and bottom zero left and right one ram and i'm going to use for radius also to make around it Text align will be center, 
padding top and bottom will be two ram left and right zero so first have that let's see this is our first box right but i want to create a more than three boxes but before working on three boxes we need to manage another thing like paragraph tag so i'm going to select the paragraph tag dot tvl underscore call paragraph tag in the paragraph tag i'm going to use font size will be 22 pixel right then i select tvl call h3 tag inside that i'm going to use font size 2.5 ram margin top and bottom will be just a minute margin top 20 0 and 40 pixel font weight will be 500 and i'm gonna assign the background will be green mm, hash 93 cb cb so right perfect but i want to display this one in the small text so i go to on there and use span tag inside there i'm going to paste that then i'm going to select this one span tag and use font size will be 1.2 ram that's it right so i want to display more than and i will okay i will work on another um text then i will make a more than two boxes we just need to copy and paste them right i'm going to show you one by one so once you've done that then you need to select the ul tag so i i call tbl call ul so i'm going to assign the text align will be left i want to display the text in the left side then i'm going to use margin left will be 3 rem i want to move all the content in the right side with bullets then i'm going to remove the bullets right then i select dot tbl call ul ally and inside that i'm going to use margin top and bottom will be 1.5 rem i want to make a space on each text and left one right zero as you can see then i want to display the bullets so you can use tbl underscore call ul ally colon colon before so you need to use content and i have a code that are display the bullets i'm going to show you as you can see so i'm going to show you how you can get the those codes css codes so you need to use css style sheet entities you need to write style sheet entities inside the search engine then you need to open the w3 total school i mean w3 school you will get a lot of codes on there as you can see different codes you can use them inside the css to display the icon or manage your project right so then i'm going to use the margin left to make a space margin right to make a space uh, 10 pixel color will be same like a video i mean green font size i'm going to use 16 pixel font weight i'm going to use 300 so first have that let's see perfect then the next one uh okay i will create a button after the ul tag i'm going to create a button and inside the button i'm going to use select i think select select now so let's target the button so dot tbl underscore call and then this is the button tag tbl call yes 
So inside the burden, first I'm gonna use weight will be 75%, right? And I'm gonna use bottle will be none. Then I'm gonna use padding, top and bottom will be 14 pixel, left and right zero. And I'm gonna use background trans transparent. I will manage it. Color will be black font size 14 pixel i'm going to use border one pixel solid and i'm going to use same color that i have used on abo like uh, where it is this one right so so okay perfect Mm, I think everything is perfect. Model radius 5 pixel, and also I'm going to use cursor pointer. Right, so let's think oh, I'm going to use that dot TVL underscore call and I'm going to call button hover effect. In the hover effect, I'm going to use background will be this one. And also I'm going to add the transition all 0.3s inside there I need to use um, 0.4s right so sir perfect so this is a one table but we need to create a more than two another table so you need to select this one section this one column so Best second time, third time, sir, as you can see. Right? Perfect. So you can change the what package's name, like uh, this will be plus and 595 unlimited, unlimited unlimited websites and this will be 20 GB and this is also unlimited websites and this will be 40 GB so and this is a choice plus package this package so sir right so I'm gonna show you the usage of this one section so I'm gonna, I'm gonna check it where I use so this is a margin this is a help us to make a space between them I'm gonna show you right as you can see so you need to use uh, top and bottom zero and left and right uh, the one ram to make a space so this is a not responsive but you can use media query a little bit of media query to make a response of it so i'm going to show you how you can use media query to make a response of it so i target at the red media and i'm going to use max width 768 pixel and inside there i'm going to call the container then i call tbl underscore row class in the tbl row class you need to use flex direction will be column so right then i want to make a space so i just use gap to ram to make a space right but i want to make a space top and also bottom so i need to use padding top and bottom three ram left and right zero perfect right as you can see and last thing i'm going to show you you can use container class and call tbl underscore call and you can assign the width if you want to increase or decrease the width of the small screen size as you can see this is 70 percent but you can decrease or increase that you can do that right 50 percent this is a 60 percent you can use 50 percent 70 percent 
So this is a fully responsive. So this is our simple project that I have used HTML CSS to make it. I hope you are understood as well. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day.